Hi. <laughs> I hope you are all doing well. I have had a fun day yesterday fighting pollen. My entire face was streaming. I was sneezing more than I was breathing. Oh, it takes it out of you. It really does. So if it looks like I'm struggling to keep my eyes open and my voice sounds a little bit deeper and raspier than usual, then yeah, still recovering from the good old pollen with the season change here in the UK. But we move, <laughs> we continue on and we have another incredible sneaker that has released but it is going to be released this weekend on the sneakers app and that is the kobe 8 pro tro venice beach now i won my pair from pro direct which i've never tried to get a sneaker from them before i know that they've been around for yonks it seems many many years has Pro Direct Sport been around? And I saw over on Instagram on their Pro Direct Hoops uh, page that they were releasing all of the Kobe sneakers. So I was very happy to get at least one of the pairs from them at Pro Direct. And here we are. Ah, it feels good to win a pair of Kobe sneakers <laughs> for their retail price. And here they are in hand. An early pair, technically, of the Venice Beach Kobe 8 Pro Tros. Let's have a look at them in hand for the very first time. <laughs> wow. Now these are bright. <laughs> these are so vibrant. I'm really happy that it's like that because the pictures online do not do this pair any justice. I honestly didn't think that I would like this pair this much <laughs> when I would get them in hand, but wow. <laughs> this really is the definition of don't knock it till you try it because these have blown my expectations right out of the water. I am really happy with these. <laughs> I am so lucky. To have won these for their retail price. Thank you so much, Pro Direct Sports. As I'll be the first one to say, of course, that the way that they released them, I believe, was the fairest way that they did it. Of course, I had to sit there for practically the entire day to wait for the actual queue to start, but I had all three up, and I'm happy that I hit one out of three. I can't complain, and I'm very happy with the delivery time, because I only had to wait one, I think. 48 hours or just over so uh, just thank you again so much pro direct sport for actually being a retailer who <laughs> is actually a place where you can win coveted limited exclusive sneakers like these kobe's for their retail price with no issue whatsoever and a speedy delivery time right let's have an up close and 4k look at the venice Beach Kobe 8 Pro Tro. And you can see straight away with just how vibrant and bright the tie-dye colors are on this pair. Now, I don't know if all tie-dye patterns are unique to every pair. So if you do know that, then drop a comment and let us all know. But what I do know and what I am to believe is that the tie-dye and the colors are there to inspire iconic Californian landmarks, as well as the iconic LA Streetball League. And it's always nice that a colorway has a bit of meaning to it. So of course, this colorway released back in 2013, and the original pair was a very highly coveted colorway of the Kobe 8. So I'm sure a lot of the OGs are very happy to see this colorway back. And then speaking of OG, we have the original Thin tongue. And now this is quite significant because the Halo Kobe 8 Pro Tro, which released last year, which I did review on the channel as well, it came with a puffier and a slightly more cushioned tongue. And so with the Venice Beaches, a lot of the OGs were very happy to see the thin tongue make a return. Now I don't know which one that I like more between the two, but what I can say is I love the embroidered design 
of Kobe's sheath logo with the mamba snake going around it. I really do like that a lot. And then there's a lot of technical aspects along with the Kobe 8 Pro Tros, which I'll quickly run through. So we have an engineered mesh upper, which is very lightweight. It molds nicely to your foot and it's quite suitable for wide foot people as well. So this material is very nice on all accords. And then we can move on to the TPU heel counter at the back, which dons Kobe's signature in this lovely orange color. And I'm very happy to see Kobe's signature still exists on his sneakers as that is one of my favorite touches personally and I'm very happy that it is here on this pair. And then we move on back around again to the back heel with Kobe's signature sheath logo that dons the back heel, very large and very apparent. And again, that's one of my favorite design aspects of this sneaker as the logo somehow seamlessly works with the design of the actual performance of this sneaker. It just looks like it's part of it and I really do like that. And then the outsole here, we have a translucent outsole with your herringbone traction pattern, which is always very nice to see. And then of course we have the carbon fiber midfoot shank, which is synonymous for the Kobe 8. And many people really swear by a carbon fiber midfoot shank as this entire sneaker really does promote a low to the ground and a court feel which a lot of people like some people don't like i myself lie in between i mean some days i like having extra cushioning and some days i don't just depends on how i feel but this is definitely one of those which is a low to the ground court feel and the insole here is a nike react drop-in midsole I'm not going to rip mine out <laughs> of my pair. I don't really like doing that if they are glued down, but many people swear by a Nike React insole. So that's very nice to see that this pair comes with that. And I believe as well that the midsole has a rubber lateral shank, which is very nice to see Nike put in a lot of technology within this Pro Tro for the Kobe 8. And one of the final things I believe is that the upper material and the swoosh is reflective, as well as Kobe's sheath logo here on the back hill. I'll pull up some photos that I'll take with my flash on from my camera. And that's just really nice to see because under the floodlights, this pair is going to look even brighter and even crazier. And one last time, I will bring the Venice Beach Kobe 8 Pro Tro up close for you all to have a look at in beautiful 4K quality at home. And we can see this vibrant and extremely colorful tie-dyed pattern on this cool gray engineered mesh upper coupled with many teal blue hits going through the midsole. And then we can see with the rest of the sneaker just how vibrant and how bright the tie-dye pattern is going all throughout the upper of this sneaker. <sighs> what a sneaker this is as far as basketball sneakers go the kobe lineup has always been one of my favorite as a kid i remember going on the nike website looking at the pair that he wore from his very last game and i was so close to buying them as a kid i remember hovering over the purchase button on the nike website but I was a kid. I didn't have the money to get him, so <laughs> maybe I wasn't as close as I thought, but yeah, I just remember that. And, and ever since that moment, I've always wanted to own some Kobe sneakers. And I'll be honest, this is the first one that I saw that I was so excited for, and I just can't believe <laughs> that I got them for their retail price. Do you know what I'll quickly do as well? Is I wanna put these on my foot and see how they actually feel. Okay, just give me a second whilst I pry the upper materials apart so it can actually fit my very wide foot in them. Okay, just <laughs> hang on with me for a second. I need to undo the laces quite considerably like I have to do with every pair as having wide feet and a high instep and flat feet as well. It's a beautiful combination for where most sneakers don't really feel <laughs> that great right out of the box. So this is my normal ritual of just completely loosening the laces as much as I can and then prying the uppers apart. 
really giving them a good stretch so my foot can get in there without any problem. Right, I think that should be enough. Let's have a feel. Okay, that wasn't enough. I need to loosen them a little bit more. This is the story of my life. Right, I think that should be enough. Okay, <laughs> there we go. We got them on finally. <laughs> there you go. They're on my foot and instantly they just feel comfortable. Of course, they're going to be snug. With basketball sneakers, I don't really like having room in them for my foot to slide around. I think no one does. That's more of a casual preference for sneakers, but look at that. Ah, oh, these feel good. They actually feel very comfortable. And the OG tongue, I was expecting it to be not as comfortable as the slightly puffier tongue that they did with the Halo pair, but Honestly, there's no issue with that thin tongue. It sits really nicely against my ankle. I don't know if I can lift my foot up one more time. You can see it just about there. If I do a zoom in, and it might be quite blurry, but it sits really nicely on my ankle. Ah, oh. <laughs> I really like these. I'm so happy with them. Oh, and for those wondering what the box size label looks like, for the Venice Beach Kobe 8 Pro Tros, then there you go. There is my box label, size UK 11. If anybody was curious, then there you go. And yeah, there you go. There is my unboxing, review, first impressions and showcase of the Venice Beach Kobe 8 Pro Tros. They really do feel comfortable on my foot. Ah, I'm just so happy with them. I really didn't think I was going to like them this much, but these really have blown all of my expectations right out of the water. Just how beautiful this sneaker is and how comfortable it feels on foot. I really cannot wait for one day when I can have my own indoor court and wear these basketball sneakers every single day. <laughs> I can play to my heart's content as I get old and grey, as that's the dream. And I really want to have a fun basketball sneaker collection to go along with that dream and yeah thank you all so much for watching as always i do have more kobe sneakers on the way so stick around stay tuned as i'm very excited to see those kobe sneakers coming in and if you know you know if you're a kobe fan then those sneakers coming in i'm very excited for to bring here on the channel as well and with that all being said, I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Ah, <sighs> I love these so much. <laughs>